All right. Hey, guys. Good morning. We are kicking off our first session here in uh, room number one here at Note Camp 5.0. And I have to tell you guys that are uh, watching out here and listening, um, when, every time we do a different Note Camp, we always try to bring on new speakers. And when I was sitting around talking with Stephanie about, hey, who we need to have on Note Camp 5, I was like, we got to have, we, we got to spend expand our marketing. What are some of the things that we're doing? And who are some of the people and the vendors that we love? I'm like, oh, we got to have Jim on. We got to have Jim. And Jim can verify that. I reached out to him a couple times. And we played phone tag back and forth because of a busy schedule. But there are vendors out there that do a great job. And we all love them. But there are specific companies that just go way above and beyond to really help you implement things. And that's what I love about Mobit and Jim's whole crew. Uh, they just do a tremendous job. It's been one thing that has helped us dramatically with our note in real estate and actually our speaking side of what we do with getting the message out to our, our tribe. And so, Jim, we are so honored to have you. I know it's early where you're at, uh, but thank you for being here. And we're just we're just jacked up. And I know you're going to share a lot of great stuff with our, our note campers this morning. Oh, no problem, Scott. Thank you so much for inviting me. And uh, thank you for everybody else who's tuning in. Again, my name is Jim Cook. I'm the Senior Vice President and one of the shareholders of Mobit Technologies. Uh, Mobit is the leader in smart mobile messaging and marketing automation. You know, when there's platforms that come out, there's, uh, there's ones that tend to be more evolutionary. In other words, they're, they're attacking the market and they're improving the services or the way the app works. Um, on an already existing good idea. Um, we go a little bit beyond that. We, we tend to think of ourselves as revolutionary. And I'm going to be sharing examples from many different industries, but I've got some specifically from the industries that you guys find yourselves in. So, uh, you know, we're so, we're so thankful that uh, Scott not only uses Mobit, but has invited us to participate in today's um, event. And, um, you know, he, he's uh, used it in many different facets uh, for his live events, uh, attendance, reaching out to people. Um, but the key thing to understand is Scott ma got marketing automation many years ago, and he uses other tools that you'll probably hear about today. Um, other CRMs out there that exist like HubSpot, Marketo, Salesforce, um, ActiveCampaign, Infusionsoft. I'm sure you guys use MailChimp and other types of tools, but the engagement that he gets via mobile and the way our platform works has really um, transformed parts of his business. Um, let's go ahead and start with why mobile marketing? You know, why mobile marketing at all? I, I think it's kind of a dumb question. I think if you're watching this, um, some of you probably are doing it on your mobile phone. You know this is where people are at. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. Um, why is MOBA different than other types of text providers? We're certainly not a text marketing company. We do... Um, utilize text in parts of our platform. Uh, why not? It's the, the best form of communication on the planet. And I'll show you why. Why automation is important. We are a marketing automation platform first and foremost. So we'll cover that. And then of course, how have others used marketing automation? Again, some of you already do this. Um, this may either improve or turbo boost what you're doing, or if you've always wanted to do marketing automation, but it seems too difficult. Uh, now might be a good time to look at this, especially since we focused on the mobile world. And then, of course, how do you build your list? That's a big question people always ask me. Mobile marketing is permission-based only. There is no spam. There's laws around what you can do, which is a good thing. Um, it protects the channel, and if you work hard and know what you're doing, um, you can have quite a bit of effectiveness. And then what's the return on investment? You know, I, and I'm not talking about just the cost of, uh, these tools and platforms. I mean, anybody in business knows um, you've got to invest in tools. Anybody who's uh, a framer, you know, needs to buy a hammer. If you're a concrete man, you've got to have a concrete mixer. If you're trying to do business without tools, it makes it really difficult. And so what I want to talk about is not just the return on investment for the tool, but the time that you spend on your marketing. You want to make sure that uh, you get that return on investment. All right, so now as we're starting, I wanted to to say you know, if you still haven't bought into the power of SMS or text marketing, the, the idea that when you send somebody a message that they're going to read it instantly, maybe this reminder will help you. <laughs> so
So we're not encouraging uh, you to use mobile marketing so people will lose their furniture out the window. But the truth is, when people get a text message, they read it. This is where you can engage with people. This is where the journey starts. Um, in fact, if you're still questioning, why don't you pull out your smartphone right now? Take a look, and I want you to figure out how many unopened text messages or unread text messages do you have, okay? Probably one. <laughs> how many unread emails do you have? That's going to be probably pretty scary. In fact, I, I met Scott at a marketing conference years ago, and I remember a woman coming up telling me that she had over 100,000 unread emails, and she had zero unread texts. Um, so I engage with people all the time. This is actually my phone, a screenshot from about three years ago. I'm about 8,000 unread emails at this point, but we read our text messages. Um, you guys understand this. There's over 6 billion people on the planet that have access to text messaging. There's nothing that even comes close to that. 98% of all the text messages that are sent are open. 98%. Um, in the last year, we've seen this 93% figure uh, grow as well. So text messages are being read even faster, as you could see from the video. So a 93% open rate within one to three minutes. What other form of communication is even close to that? Certainly not a phone call. As you know, people don't even answer their phone anymore. Voicemail, you ever get this? Uh, I don't check voicemail. Just send me a text message if you're trying to reach me. Or worse yet, this user has not set up their voicemail. Um, text messages get through. And so we wanted to reinvent the way marketing was done. Um, we looked at a lot of email marketing automation platforms that we'd been using for many years. We sold our consultancy business for several million dollars and we built our own platform to utilize a channel and leverage it to a greater extent. And so that's what I'm going to be showing you today. Um, we really heavily focus on the click-through rate. Now, you've heard of click-through rates of email, and I'll cover that in a minute. The click-through rate on a text is when you send a text, whether it's a plain text or an MMS, when people click on the link, they're going to go somewhere, right? Well, we wanted to build an integrated mobile landing page builder where you could set up offers, um, you know, get people to engage, to schedule a consultation with you, take a look at some properties in the area, learn how they can um, you know, finance a particular piece of real estate, whatever it might be. I'll show you some examples. But our, our click-through rate's looking like 58% for some of our clients, which is it's just massive. That's a massive number. When you do mobile marketing, there is no spam blocking or junk filtering. There are rules in what you can do, but the nice thing is when you send a message, it gets through. It's not blacked, uh, uh, blocked by Gmail, um, and you certainly can't get in trouble um, by, by spamming people because you just can't do that. 93% of all the traffic on Facebook is via someone's mobile phone. Actually, I think that's ticked up to about 94 and a half now. Um, but either way, when people are viewing Facebook, they're typically on their phone. And so you need a mobile optimized experience. And that's kind of what we're focused on. The average uh, mobile user looks at their phone 150 times a day. Some of you, it might be even higher than that. Um, but either way, this is where people are. So hopefully you guys are tracking with me. Um, again, you can ask some questions. I'm on the presentation right now. I will go through those questions when we get to the end. Um, so if, if your thought comes to your mind, write it down or go ahead and send it in to the, uh, the Q&A section. Now, some of you have been doing some email marketing or aspire to. Um, if, if you've gotten ahead and you've already got a list of 5,000 people and you're sending out uh, email notifications or promotions or want to have an event or just trying to connect with your list, you'll probably recognize some of these statistics. MailChimp, uh, who's kind of the 800-pound gorilla in the email marketing space, uh, pun intended, <laughs> uh, has noticed the, that the open rate is dropping significantly. In the last 18 months, it's uh, dropped like 6%. But on average, if you were to send 5,000 emails out, you would see that the open rate is about 18% on average. You may have a higher than that or lower. Um, I just met with a company yesterday who has 34,000 emails and their open rate has dropped to eight, eight percent. So they're in, uh, they're in dire straits. They're, they're looking for an opportunity to change that. So if you sent out an email to 5,000 people and 18% of people open that, that's 900. Now MailChimp also tells us that the click-through rate at best is about 2%, meaning 5,000 people on your list and only 100 are actually engaging with the content 
that you're sending them. Look, these emails don't take, I mean, they take a long time to, to design, to plan out and everything. And to get that kind of engagement is demoralizing. A hundred people out of 5,000. Let's take a, just an apples to apples comparison about what this would look like numbers wise if we were to send a text to 5,000 people with an open rate that we're seeing of 98%. That means virtually everybody, right? 4,900 people are going to open the text. And then how many people click through? Well, with 58% click through rates, that gives us 2,800 people. So more than half of the intended audience is engaging with the content that we've, we've sent them. And that click through reminder, remember, is going through a, to a mobile landing page where they can watch a video, fill out a form, uh, book a consultation, review some opportunities to invest. I mean, all kinds of things, right? So let's look at this right next to each other. 5,000 emails versus 5,000 mobile messages. 100 versus 2,800. That's incredible. Now, if you're proactively thinking and listening during this uh, you know, presentation, you're probably saying, Jim, I don't have 5,000 people I can, I can send a mobile message to. You know, well, what, what would a smaller list do? Let's, let's reduce it by 10 times. We'll say, what if I only, you know, in the first couple months, I'm able to generate a list of 100, 200, maybe even 500. So 10 times smaller with the open rate and click-through rates being the same, you're still getting two and a half times the engagement. So with only 500, I can outperform 5,000 emails every day of the week, uh, especially here on Saturday morning. It wouldn't be hard to reach people and have them engage with the content. And uh, so it's not, it's not just Mobit, it's the SMS. But then where do we go from here? So if, if you just can send a text and get that kind of engagement, then uh, we've solved all the problems, right? Not necessarily. So our developers, our team, we wanted to build a platform for marketing purposes, um, not just workflow, not just to blast out a text. There's a thousand companies that can send this text message you're looking at. But if you want to be professional, if you want to focus on return on investment, this isn't really going to get you anywhere. You might stop in to get this slice of pizza or whatever, but if, if you really want to improve your marketing, you need branding, right? You need engagement. You need to send something that's, that's going to get their attention. Uh, there's a lot of noise out there and you got to be able to, to get people's attention. If you're focused on conversions, I mean, how do we even know this converts? <laughs> this text is, uh, is extremely boring. We want to automate everything, right? As much as we can. Um, I know that there's one-to-one -one communications that has to take place, but for the most part, you want to wait till those people are holding up their hand or saying, yes, I'm ready to be served, or I'd like to engage with you. We want to automate as much as possible. And then finally, and most importantly, I think you got to get some return on your investment. If you're going to build a marketing campaign and a workflow and send out content, what's it all for, right? Um, maybe it's a conversion to specifically to have a consultation or a meeting or to buy a product. It doesn't matter. You've got to build a system that can do all of these things if you're going to engage in mobile. So that's what Mobit has done. We created a powerful special formula. And uh, let's take a look at that right now. So we provide you the ability to send those SMS and MMS messages. Some of you are asking what MMS is. That's fine. We'll, we'll cover that in a second. When people go to, um, when they get their text message, right? An MMS has that video or that image or logo inside the text message itself, making it that much more probable that they're going to click on the unique link that you send them. Now, when they click on the link, where are they going to go? Well, they can go to your website if that's what you want to set up, and we can track that. Um, we do have a, a quick and easy-to-use interactive mobile landing page builder. This is where you can quickly set up meetings, webinars, in-person seminars, um, all kinds of different things. Our, our landing page builder is really cool because it's dynamic, so we can push content. You'll notice that this text was sent to Jane, and so her, her name appears right here in the landing page. The date and time of the upcoming event that she's scheduled is all merged to the landing page. Um, so we can add intelligent uh, lead forms. Um, all, everything that happens on this page is going to be tracked. I'll, I'll be covering this a little bit more, but it's a beautiful and very easy way to uh, build web presentations. Everything's based on automation that we do. So if somebody watches your video or fills out a form and we need to notify sales, any, anything that happens on that page, we can trigger automation off. That's a, a really powerful piece. 
And then we are a CRM. Now, this isn't a CRM to replace a top producer or or some other type of um, real estate or financial. Um, you know, this isn't going to uh, eliminate your need for red tail if you're doing any type of things in the financial world. But the CRM is for to keep your list, all your mobile list in one place, be able to segment it. And then for compliance purposes, we have a record of every text that you've sent or received from your prospective companies or, or users. Now, you're, you're also asking, well, Jim, you just said this isn't going to replace Salesforce or whatever I'm using. Well, can you connect to them? Absolutely. We connect to over 1,100 applications. Uh, in fact, it's, it's increasing so much, I haven't even been able, able to update this slide. It says 800, and then it says 1,100, and it's going to be 1,200 next month. So whether you're using something like HubSpot or if you want to do some uh, Facebook advertising, you use MailChimp. I mean, we basically connect up, base, everybody everybody. Um, so let's take a look at what it means to close the marketing loop. How are we able to increase conversions, right? How is it different? Well, let's look at a basic call to action. In marketing, we say a call to action. So you've told somebody uh, on a postcard, uh, on your website, on a radio ad, in person, just, you know, go ahead and text a short word to a short number. Now, you've seen this before. Um, you've probably seen it used by Scott if you've uh, been in this community for a while. When people text a short word to a number, that phone number, their phone number, goes directly into the Mobit CRM. Now, if you're using something like Infusionsoft or another system, we can create a contact record there as well. Um, but when they uh, text in, they're going to be greeted with a message. Now, let me back up for a second. Let me give you a personal example why this is important. Um, my wife and I um, had uh, two wonderful boys, and we wanted to have another child, but she was having some back problems. And um, I'm going, going to work. I'm on the freeway. And I hear this doctor come on, and he says, I'm Dr. So-and-so from the Spine Institute of Arizona, blah, blah, blah. If you would like to learn about our new back technique that doesn't need surgery. And so I'm listening to this going, wow, this is great. This is what I need. And he gets to his call to action for me at the end of his ad. And he said, just go to our website. It's www.scottsdalespineinstituteofarizona.com forward slash blah, blah technique. And uh, obviously, I'm pretty frustrated as a consumer. He should be frustrated because he spent a lot of money using that megaphone of radio. And um, it's not really didn't get him anywhere. Obviously, I never went and visited him. Uh, the, the, the phone number he gave was like 866-135, you know, whatever. I'm not going to remember any of that. But if he had said text spine to 72,000, that's spine to 72,000. Three important things were going to happen, right? So he was going to capture my phone number instantly. He, I'm going to receive a, you know, some sort of logo or beautiful image of his business. I'm going to be able to click on a link and, and, and watch a video of his, uh, his technique or, or go to a quick landing page where I could see the bullet points of what he had to offer. So one, lead capture. Two, instant gratification for the consumer wanting to learn more. And then three, follow-up. Because it's one thing if people go to a website like yours and fill out a form, uh, that's great. Well, what if they don't, right? What if they bounce? What can you do at that point? Pretty much nothing. I mean, you can build some Google remarketing and you can spend a lot of money on retargeting. The goal is to have them fill out the form, have it go into the CRM, integrate with uh, maybe your system and go from there. But I'm, I'm a marketing automation. I'm in growing conversion. So I want to know what happens if they don't fill out the form. Well, of any other method, you'd probably be, you know, out, but not with us. And I'm going to show you why. Once they come to this page, we've already captured their mobile number and we can remarket to them and drip on them accordingly to, to nudge them through the process. Okay. And just before I show you that example, let's take a look at these landing pages and why they're so powerful. So right here you have uh, Jane gets a dynamic uh, text. So let's say you do a blast out to, or a broadcast, I should say, to, you know, a thousand people. You can merge in the first name, of course, and then we're going to auto-generate a unique link for every single person. You don't have to do it. It's just automatic. And why is that in Bitly link, which we own the domain in Bitly, why is that important? Well, couple reasons. One, we'll be able to track not only how many people went to the page, but which people. Um, and then once they're on the page, we're passing dynamically all of their content information right to the page. We can merge in the, the time of the consultation you have with them, uh, the property they're looking at, um, the type of investment, um, that, you know, anything. 
that we want. And so that's really cool. And then finally, if they click on this button to book their seat or confirm a consultation or fill out a form, we know that they did that. And if they don't do that, let me show you an example. Some of you um, may be old enough to remember a show called Candid Camera. Candid Camera was hosted by a gentleman named Alan Funt. And this is his daughter, Juliet. Juliet has a thriving business and she goes around the country speaking and she also has uh, direct consultation services that she works with businesses to increase the amount of white space. And uh, I'm not going to go through the whole, whole thing that she does, but she came to me many years ago and said, I heard you're an expert in helping people capture leads and uh, follow up and automation and all of that via mobile. Can you tell me how we do this? I said, absolutely. So this quote's a little misleading. We actually increased your lead capture basically by 100%, but the conversions is what I'm going to show you that's so important. When she was at her presentation, she would say, you know, if you want to learn more about um, what I'm doing, and I'd love to give you an exclusive video and some, some white paper content, just text Juliet to 72,000. Now, by doing that, um, she's going to be capturing their information, right? So let me give you some numbers. There were 1,200 people in the room, and out of the 1,200 people, 1,100 people texted in. So she's instantly captured 1,100 mo mobile numbers. Now, she needs their permission to market to them any further. And this is abbreviated uh, copy here, by the way. So, um, But it said something like, reply yes to get my white paper and video. It was signed by Juliet, and then there was some um, proper terms and conditions underneath that. Out of the 1,100 people, 860 people replied yes. She just built a list of 860 people at one event. Now, of the 860, remember, they're at the, uh, the, you know, the presentation hall at the Marriott in LA, and they're kind of distracted. So we knew not everybody would fill out the form immediately. But 240 people did. So that means 860 people are on her mobile list, and now 240 people have opted in for her email list. Now, let's take a look at this page a little closer. She just wanted first name and email, but... Depending on what you're trying to learn about the prospect, you might want to know, well, is this somebody interested in having me speak? Do they want to buy my e-learning series? In your case, it's going to be different uh, being in the world of investment and real estate. And I'll give you some examples there specifically. But she wanted only to be notified or her sales team if somebody checked the box that they were interested in having uh, her speak because that's a hot lead. Uh, you know, if she, she makes, uh, I don't know exactly what she makes, but I'm, I'm sure it's north of $10,000. It's pretty important that she get on that lead right away. Now, if for everybody else, remember only 240 people filled out this form. For anybody else, is it over? I mean, is that it? Is that all we're going to get? Well, in most systems, it would be, but not with Mobit. Because what we did was in the system, we scheduled a delay timer. And this delay timer was going to wait two hours uh, past the event. From when someone comes in, it waits two hours and it looks for a specific tag. We were tagging everybody who would complete the form. But anybody who didn't complete the form was set up to get a reminder text. And it was just a basic reminder text that says, oops, it looks like you didn't complete the form to get your free stuff. Please click here. Now, when they did that, another 160 people filled out the form. That's significant, just from an automated reminder. But we weren't done. We waited two days later and had a programmed automated reminder that went out, and they, except this time it was a little video in the text. Imagine something like this. Hi, this is Juliet. I spoke to you at the, uh, the Marriott just two days ago, but it looks like you haven't claimed my free gifts. This is your last chance. Click on the link below. Now, when people did that, two days later, remember, it only went out to the people who hadn't taken action yet. And I believe that was about 360 people left. 260 more people filled out this form, giving the grand total of 660 of the 860 to also fill out the form. So, we increased the conversions by 74% by three main ways. One, automation. Two, SMS delivery, right? Because the open rate is so high. And then three, automation. Everything was auto, oh, excuse me, not automation, uh, the professional nature of the whole thing. So automation, SMS, and the fact that this is uh, pretty beautiful um, with images, video, and of course, landing pages. All right, so let's talk about some event or consultation examples in the, the investment world. We have a client uh, named The Property Apprentice, and The Property Apprentice um, likes to hold live seminars to teach people about uh, how, how they can you know, invest in real estate and so forth. And they were spending a lot of money on radio 
which uh, you've probably heard the fan Merrill and other, other types of radio promotions throughout the nation, trying to get people to live events. They were spending about 30 K $30,000 a month on radio ads, but their radio ad call to action was as bad as the spine doctors Uh, go to our website, you know, call this number, blah, blah, blah. So, we came alongside them and we said, look, there's a better way. And uh, I'm going to show you exactly every step along the way that we did for them. But in the end, you're going to see that we increased the attendance by 200, 200%. And they were able to reduce their radio spend by 15000 So we saved them money and we made them money all at the same time. Let's take a look. Their problem was there was no ability for them to truly measure what their uh, radio advertising response was. Um, Measuring the ROI from their live events and seminars was difficult too. Like people would show up and they would attend, but they couldn't follow up with them later uh, properly. Or if they could, they could only do it via email. We've already seen the problem with that. Delivering follow-up content was just difficult. And then 90% of their emails were not being opened. Imagine the frustration, right? Some of you haven't built a large email list yet. I'm here to say, well, you missed that boat, but it's okay because there's a new boat that's come in. So don't, don't worry about it. If you do, by the way, have a large email list, I, I can show you how we can build that into a mobile list. If you stick with us a little bit longer, I'm going to go through some details. So they changed it and they said on the radio ad, text ticket to 268. And when people did, they got an, uh, an automated response that allowed them to start going through the process to register for the upcoming seminar in their area. Let me show you how we did that. They'd get a video, uh, a click through link. And once they did that, it would take them to a landing page. Now on this landing page, you'll see it's not only dynamic, but it's got a drop down where they would select the location of where the event was going on and the best day and time for them to go to it. Now, when they would register for this event, let me go ahead and fill it in here. So Jenny puts in her email, her phone number, that contact form would be sent to the CRM. Okay. And in it would store all the dynamic content. The user then would be sent a dynamic thank you page. Hi, Jenny. Thank you for um, signing up for the seminar. Here's a how to build property wealth in 100 days, a free gift for you. And we'll notify you before your event, right? Because it's going to go into our system. We're going to have a delayed uh, timer that will then send her a text on the day of her uh, seminar and a link with directions and everything. So when she came to the landing page, the dynamic content for the location, the time, and everything else. Now, What's cool about this is a lot of people want to have uh, trackability of who shows up to these seminars that they sign up for. Now, this could be a webinar too. Um, we, we basically get 80% of the people that attend our webinars do so from text and it's all automated just by clicking on the link from a text people register for our webinars. It's pretty cool. But when this goes out, um, it can also come with a digital ticket. So when they show up in person, they can check in right? It's all digital. The day of the event, it'll send them a text. They click on the landing page of the person checking them in, applies a tag to them, and now we know that they've attended, okay? So um, when they've attended it, we can, you know, set up their coaching plan, send them through through a new process, uh, and, and thank you for doing that. If they didn't attend the event, and we know so because they didn't check in, we can send mobile follow-ups to try to either get them to another event, uh, prevent, you know, present them with a special offer, Hopefully, they'll go through a coaching plan, become a new customer eventually. But if not, we can drop them more into like a long-term nurture sequence. So maybe they weren't ready to proceed, but you can do that soon. Um, Mobit basically transformed their entire lead generation and follow-up. And uh, they absolutely love our product, obviously. It worked really well for them. So let me, uh, maybe I should take a break real quick and take a look at all the questions coming in. Okay, good. Okay, we'll get to those. Okay. All right. So let's do a quick overview of the platform. I am not going to bore you with a product demo today, but um, we will just take a couple look at a few things on a couple slides. Mobit integrates with pretty much every CRM out there. Um, so if you, if you use any of these uh, applications that we've been discussing, I can show you how we can um, pass information from one to the next. Let's take a look at what the uh, landing page builder looks like. Some of you out there going, I'm no web designer. I had somebody else build my website. You know, I don't get into the web page thing. Every single person hearing my voice can design a web page very easily. Um, our landing page builder was built for 
the easiest of use. It's built in something called Angular JS or JavaScript. Okay. If you can drag a button onto a page, <laughs> you, you can do this. So um, whether it's a logo or a video, everything you drag on there is pixel perfect. It's more like painting actually. And just um, it, it, then the block formats that you've probably been familiar with in the past. So if you want to drop an image on there, a video, a button, a form, you know, all you got to do is use your mouse. And like I said, everyone listening to me can do this. It's super, super easy. And everything you put on the page is trackable. Totally we easy guys. This is a, one of the things that makes it so great. You can, it's, I had to say, I'm not the most technologically savvy because of building stuff, but it, it kind of dummies proofs your building. <laughs> Yeah, it does. And have you ever built something like even on an email? There's a company out there called like uh, Email on Acid or something like that. Uh, funny name, but but basically, it, you send them the email that you've designed and spent all this time, and they'll send it through and they check what it looks like on 58 different email clients, and they send back a report. And you basically have to make decisions there. Well, how do I want it to look at on Gmail? How do you want to look at? Look, I've been in, email, you know, I've been in doing email marketing for 15 years and, and sales marketing for 25 years. When I want something to look the way I want it to look, um, I want to be able to make that happen. And so what Scott's saying is not only is it easy, but it's pixel perfect. So however you design it, it's exactly how it will look on their page. Um, that's important for me. So um, that that's pretty much the only overview I wanted to give on the landing page builder Um and you can see more of a demo later if you uh, if you want to request that. We're, we're multi-channel, right? So when you design this landing page, where is it going to be? You get a unique link for every page you design. You can design as many as you want in your, your flow or your funnel um, or just a standalone page like this. Um, and then you can have other people link to it through all of these methods. Now, some of you are looking in the bottom left at that uh, QR code and you're like, uh, Jim, seriously, like QR? <laughs> Apple uh, uploaded a new feature to their, you know, to the iPhone. So if you point your camera at a QR code now, it automatically reads the QR and it'll take you to any page that's associated with that QR. So we've had it built in the system for four years. It, some people use it for, for direct mail or any kind of print. You can put it on the back of your business card, but it's great. Um, now you just point your iPhone at it and you're good to go. Android, I don't know yet, but I'm sure it'll be along you know, pretty soon. If you send out an email, you can link to this page. Most email is read on a mobile phone. So if you're not doing mobile pages, um, somebody's going to hit you on the head with a hammer, a marketing hammer saying, look, you got to focus on mobile. Obviously you can send out a text and then social media. We're going to get into Facebook and uh, Instagram, that type of stuff. So if you stick with this, um, you're going to learn a lot about uh, what you can do for social media to build your mobile list. Now, on the other side of the things, with, within our platform, we have a drag and drop uh, campaign builder. Now, a campaign builder is, uh, excuse me, I'm just getting a phone call here on a Saturday. Crazy. Um, basically, automation is goal and actions and triggers, right? So if you have a goal that says, when somebody fills out my form, I want it to apply a tag and I want to alert um, Susie back in the office, or I want to know that um, John is going to be on this lead immediately. So we can set up field timers, actions, triggers. We can tag people based on where they attended an event, when you talk to them. Every person who books in a consultation with me is tagged. When the consultation is over, I'm sent a, an alert that says, did the person attend the meeting? Are they interested in moving forward? Basically, I can press a, a number of series of buttons and it drops people into dedicated sales funnels. So if you know anything about marketing automation, uh, this may look familiar with, to you. If you don't, it's okay. We're one of the easiest marketing automation platforms to, to set up, and we actually help you do it uh, when you get started. So as you're learning, we'll get you a campaign moving. So that's the campaign automation. Now let's just look uh, at a couple awesome features that we have, and then we're going to dive into some more case studies. Hopefully, you guys are you know starting to translate this to your business. Um, I, I don't know how many examples I'm going to have specifically for you, but we, you know, I've built over a thousand campaigns for different businesses in all different areas. So I'm talking plumbers, bowling alleys, uh, youth camps, insurance agents, um, wealth advisors, everybody. So it's just like all over the place. Uh, here's some bigger names that you might know of that use Mobit. 
Um, in fact, another marketing automation platform that you'll hear from later today, most likely, uh, uses Mobit. Um, the PGA, Marriott, Real Wealth Network. I mean, lots of different companies that you might have heard of. I mean, we so had, we uh, actually, we had Kathy Fetke, the CEO of uh, Real Wealth, on yesterday morning at this time. So, yeah, she uses it religiously with her podcast and things like that. And we use it. Uh, you yeah, will have Darren with Infusionsoft on later today. It's just, guys, this is a great, great tool. Uh, to really help you connect on things. Yeah, exactly. It's a tool and you need the right tools in your tool bag. And um, that's why we're talking today. This this is the future. This is actually, it's now, but it's also the continued future. Mobile's not going away anywhere, any, anytime soon. So um, we can do some cool stuff on mobile, like we showed you video. So if, um, if you're selling jeans, this is a great way to go. <laughs> Uh, no, but look, these can be all kinds of videos. I'll show you some examples. Um, so MMS is, is a fantastic way to engage people. I'm going to go really quickly through this uh, Marriott example. The Marriott New Orleans was going to build a mobile app. You guys, uh, that's very old thinking, um, like build a mobile app. That's what I've got to do. Uh, you know, getting people to download your app is a problem. And then once they download the app, getting people to um, opt in for, for messaging is really hard, right? That's the first thing that pops up. Do you want to allow for notifications? And everybody says no. So it's not a great way to engage with people. And the Marriott was going to spend north of $25,000 on an app. And I said, can you give me two days? Because I can eliminate your, your, your cost for the most part. And um, I can have this up and running in no time. What they wanted it to happen is when people checked into the hotel, they wanted an ability to service them. So they put a little pop-up tent next to the nightstand that says, text Marriott to 72,000 if we can be of service to you, of in, you know, for any, anything. And when people would do that, they would come to a landing page. Well, as you've already seen from the landing page builder, we can make it look like an app. I mean, if you want menus and buttons, um, think about this for your business. You're thinking, man, I'd love to have a mobile app. I don't want to spend $25,000. Well, just have somebody text a word like uh, investment to 72,000 or homes or loan or note or whatever words that are available within the system. And when they text it, they can come to a, a series of options. In this case, uh, each button would lead to a dedicated page. So if somebody had a housekeeping need, they would just click on the button like, like it was an app and they would come to a dedicated form and they would put in their last name, room number and what they need. You know, I need some towels, some, you know, a, a toothbrush, and uh, the guy next to me is uh, snoring too loud. Can you tell him to keep it down? Whatever the request might be, when they submit this, it then goes to the housekeeping department and uh, they're notified that uh, Mr. Johnson, room 226, needs some, some toothpaste. So we basically uh, functionally did everything they needed without the cost of an app and not the difficulty of having people download an app. The return on investment on apps now, I think, is below 2%. And the number of people that download an app and only open it once is like 92%. So this is very different. You're building a mobile list. And long after they left the Marriott, the Marriott New Orleans could reach out to them and say, hey, it's been a couple months. Why don't you come back to New Orleans and enjoy some jazz and some good food? So it's a fantastic way to grow your list and be of service to people and engage them. So pretty cool stuff. By the way, with these guys, we eventually took um, all their catering and their order to go orders uh, off their hands too. We automated the whole way where people could place orders. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Um, the PGA came to us and they said, you know, we've got this huge thick book. Some of you are golfers and you've seen like it, the old, remember the old entertainment books and uh, people carry those around in their car and, and so forth. Well, PGA had a similar thing. If you had the golf pass, you would uh, carry around this book in your golf bag and uh, you would go to a golf resort and you would use the coupons and so forth. I said, look, let's just digitize all that. You guys are spending like $12,000 to print this thing. Let's just digitize it. So here's uh, you know, Rick and Rick wants to schedule around at the Augusta ranch. He just clicks on it to redeem it and uh, schedule his round. And um, once that happens, a tag is applied in the system that says you've successfully redeemed your coupon. Now, this is cool because we would know that Rick was at that golf resort, that he used it the day he used it. And if he ever tried to use that coupon again, it would say, we're sorry, Rick, you've already used this. And um, check out all the other golf courses in the area that you can use. Now, what the PGA can do in partnership with the golf course is now target Rick, you know, next season or three months later that says, hey, we saw that you, you know, 
golfed here at Augusta. We trust that you had a great round of golf. Why don't you come back? So it allows retargeting specifically to those users. Again, I know you guys don't run golf courses. Maybe you do. Um, but either way, I'm just trying to show you that we're tracking people all the way through the process and we know what they're doing, uh, which is really important. Clay Mask is the CEO and co-founder of Infusionsoft, another marketing automation platform that we use internally along with several others. Um, when we started our business, uh, we had a direct API integration with Infusionsoft and quickly became their number one messaging partner. Um, internally, Infusionsoft has been using Mobit for their events, for all types of mobile engagement, and Clay uses it himself. Um, but what I want to let you know is 85% of our clients don't have Infusionsoft anymore. Um, well, I shouldn't say it that way. 85% of our customers don't have Infusionsoft. Um, we still have a ton of Infusionsoft customers, but we've grown outside of that ecosystem because there's lots of other industries, right? Um, some of you may have had Infusionsoft, but now you have something else. We connect to everybody. Um, but the connection we do have with Infusionsoft is really solid. So if you do have them, I can talk about that further with you individually. People love our platform. We have no shortage of uh, endorsements. Um, I even throw Scott's up there again. But uh, what people say about our platform and about our team is that we're extremely helpful. We have a white glove uh, mentality where we get you going and get you off the ground. So let's talk about how you build a mobile list because um, that's going to be one of the biggest things. Most of you cannot text a person, right? You don't even have one person on there. So how do you do that? Well, I'm going to cover five of the top ways real quickly here. Email, social media, SMS itself, direct mail, and of course your website. Not necessarily in that particular order. So you're saying, Jim, email? Seriously? <laughs> you just told me how the open rates are so bad. Well, two's better than one, right? Two channels. So you got to use both of them. And a lot of you have a large email list or, or some email list. And I, we want to leverage what we can. So let's, let's, uh, let's do both. Let's talk about how you use email to grow your mobile list. Here is the most basic example I could come up with and uh, proof of concept. This is an Amish farmer's market in Ohio. Amish farmer's market in Ohio. An Amish if, farmer's market? Isn't that awesome? <laughs> <laughs> if Ron can do it, you can do it. No, Ron is not Amish. He's, he's Protestant and everything, but um, he does use technology. It's the vendors that are Amish, right? Um, so uh, interesting story, by the way. Ron is the, the son of... Um, of the man who started the very first uh, Amish farmer's market in uh, Pennsylvania way back in the early 1900s. But Ron called me up. He said, Jim, you know, I'm using Infusionsoft. I'm doing email marketing and um, I, nobody opens my emails anymore. And I'm just, I'm ticked. Every week on Wednesday evening, I send out an alert of, uh, you know, some of the vendor promotions and stuff that are, that's going on. And uh, my, no one, no one reads it. And I said, well, that's not true. I said, somebody opens it. He goes, yeah, that's true. I, I guess some do. I have a list of 6,000 people and my open rate's about 17%. I said, okay, so you got 17%. He goes, yeah, but I don't care about that. He's like, dude, I want to grow a mobile list. I want to do mobile. How do we do that? I go, okay, first thing we're going to do is send an email. <laughs> he goes, Jim, you're not listening to me. I'm telling you. No, I said, I am, but we know a thousand people are going to open an email if you send it, right? He's like, yeah. I said, okay, well, let's come up with some reason for them to join your mobile list. Now, in your case, those who are you're listening to me, you're like, I don't give out $10 gift cards, but you could uh, offer like join my mobile VIP list and enter to win, um, you know, Amazon $100 gift card. You could do that, but I'm more thinking like book a free consultation with me, um, receive my 10 tips on how to do X, Y, Z, you know, offer them some sort of what we call lead magnet in the email to click through on the link or text, you know, Ron to 72,000 to get that deal. Um, I had no idea what the conversion rate would be from an Amish farmer's market. I was hoping he'd get a couple hundred mobile subscribers to get him going. I was way off. He got a thousand. He virtually had a hundred percent opt-in rate. So he was able to, you know, grow a pretty sizable mobile list very quickly. Uh, Ron ceased to do any email marketing from that day forward. Focus purely on mobile, put up signs at the marketplace that says text marketplace to 72,000 to get weekly promotions and updates. And um, he was off to the races. So if he can do it, you can do it. Um, here's Flo. 
you know, she's selling insurance and uh, you've come to the website and you're shopping, you're trying to find out if they have uh, RV insurance and uh, you decide that you're going to leave the w- website, right? And something pops up, right? But instead of asking for your email, it's like, hey, uh, receive VIP offers. Now, this isn't a progressive example. I'm just showing you a, a standard website pop-up. We work with and integrate with a company called PickReel. And PickReel is a, a website conversion optimization tool. It's kind of like Opted Monster, if you've ever heard of that. But what it does is it not only has exit offer pop-ups, but based on who the person is and if they're in your CRM, i.e. Mobit, um, they'll know if they've, if they've been to your site. And if they've purchased something before, if they, so this exit offer could pop up and say, Hey, welcome back, John. Um, Hope you enjoyed that course you took from me. Or, um, you know, if you have questions, you know, please give me a call. It's uh, just another way for you to capture information. So whether it's a contact us form on your website, which is a standard gold boring thing, that's fine. You just update that capture mobile number and we'll trigger a text to go out to them, right? To get that confirmation. Or you could have something um, neat, like a pop-up that gathers their mobile number. And people say, well, I don't know, who, who's going to want to give their mobile number, Jim? If they won't give you their contact information, is it a real prospect? How interested are they? Do you just want to fill up your email list with a bunch of people that really aren't interested? <laughs> Let me give you one example personally. My wife, I, I just had a birthday this week, and my wife has a birthday email. And you say, what's a birthday email? It's the email she uses to get all her free birthday crap. Guess how often she checks that email inbox once a year. Hey, where am I getting my free ice cream? Where are we going to dinner this year? Um, So, you know, just getting someone's email doesn't prove anything. If you want to actually deal with people interested in what you have to do and what you have to sell and engage with you, they'll give you their contact information. If they don't, they're a waste of time anyway. So um, let's talk about other website examples on our website. What we typically do is I've been giving this similar presentation for a long time and um, we've grown quite a bit and I just can't do it one-to-one anymore. So what we've decided to do is build an automated sales funnel. Okay. People come to our website and they go, Oh, I want to get a free demo. What's Mobit all about? I, I heard about it. My friend's doing it. How can I get started? So they click on get a free demo and they're greeted with this ugly dude. And uh, for a minute and a half, they're going to hear about why they should do mobile. And I've got a bunch of tips for them and they should fill out this form below and I'll give you a copy of my 30 minute presentation. Well, you guys are all watching the presentation live or a version of it. And um, so after this minute video, it pops up and we capture their information. Now, this is pretty important because I don't want to talk to everybody. I only want to talk to people who are interested, that are qualified, that meet some sort of criteria. So on this form, I ask for their website. I ask for um, their marketing spend. You know, um, you know, what what are they looking to spend in the next uh, year to 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 two years on marketing, that kind of thing. And then when they submit this form, they're guided on a destination. Um, they're guided to a destination that's going to lead to a consultation with someone on my team. So here's the thirty minute presentation. <clears throat> They go through and they watch it. We have pop-ups along the way that says, are you ready to get started? It, it educates them on everything Mobit. And, um, and then, you know, it's doing all the work for me, right? Um, now, when they click on the link to book a consultation, and some of you are going to do this in the next 20 to 30 minutes, um, we've already have their information. It's going to pre-populate the form on Calendly which uh, syncs with my personal work calendar, shows availability, and uh, we're going to have a strategy consultation about their specific business. Really, really easy, works well, and we do that through our website. Now, if they fill out that form, but they don't proceed through any process, they're going to get a welcome video via text from me and uh, go into like a 14-day nurture sequence. Most of the people that see our product buy within a few minutes. Some people need a couple weeks. This is not a long time um, research project for most people. Um, But in that 14 day sequence, they'll receive different reminders every few days if they haven't booked in with a, a, a personalized text and email that says click here to schedule a call with one of our experts and so forth. So we've built that automated sales funnel to to begin if somebody starts on our website, but we also do it through Facebook. So once you build a sales funnel, some sort of communication funnel, you can have several entrance points to it. Uh, Every page that you design, again, with Mobit comes with a unique link, and you can post that link anywhere. You can also have a call to action using the 
short word to a short number. Um, so that's really, really simple. That's just posting. Let's, uh, let's talk about Susan Sly. So Susan is a client of mine here in Scottsdale. She's a, a wealthy woman. She's um, grown her business and um, loves marketing automation. She uses a, a couple tools, but she had nothing for mobile. Nothing, nobody's doing what we're doing in the mobile world. So she picked up Mobit and within a few hours, we had a campaign set up for her and she was already posting it on social media. Now, anybody can post something on social media, Instagram, Twitter, anywhere you want. And you can have a link or you can have a call to action to text a word. Slightly different process, but it, it you know achieves the same thing. She also ran some Facebook ads and I can show you how we did that. But first of all, let's say they texted in organized to 72,000. Well, just like Juliet Funt, they're greeted with uh, you know a beautiful image here of Susan and her brand. You'll see that it says reply yes. That's a, a quick call to action at the front of the sentence. Look, we've done this guys a thousand times for different brands and companies. So when you work with us, you get the benefit of all of that knowledge. And um, you just, we can't impart that to you. We're not going to have you watch a thousand marketing videos to get it all. We're, we're going to help you get started. So um, when they reply, yes, they're sent off to a dedicated page where they can get her um, ebook on how to, you know, get more organized in your life. Now I'll, I'll even share some numbers with you. Um, she had instantly, she had 250 mobile subscribers when she posted this on her Facebook page. And 190 of them also filled out the form providing their email address and personal name. So that was pretty good. 76%. Sound familiar? Um, so we really know what we're doing. If they didn't fill out the form, they got those reminders. Now, in this case, she wants to send them to a thank you page, tell her a little bit more about who, what she's about. They can also view and download the organizer that she just promised them or jump to her website. That's it. There's no selling here. All she's trying to do is love on her prospects, give them something for free, um, and build a list. She's list building at this point. But she already had some things set up to go out a week later. So what happened was everybody went into a waiting basket or a timer and then got a video from her that said, hey, everybody, I hope you, well, actually, hey, um, I hope you've been enjoying the Organize uh, Your Life uh, PDF. And if you want to take my six week virtual course on organizing your life, you can get a hundred dollar discount if you buy today. So that's typically what people do. They, they nurture people by giving them something free, um, putting them in the sales funnel. Sometimes you want to wait three weeks before you try to pitch somebody on buying something. Um, some of you have heard of the tripwire offer. Uh, a tripwire offer is, um, you, 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 come up with some unbelievable deal just to engage with you. Um, I've helped lots of people, build that process of offering something for $97 that's eventually going to lead to maybe an offer of $30,000, um, some sort of package. But that's what you do. You turn them into a customer. And once they're a customer, uh, they typically will buy more from you and uh, in larger quantities. Now, from Facebook, you can run Facebook traditional ads. Now, a traditional ad just means you design an ad, and when people click on it, they're going to go off to a landing page. And that landing page could be built in our system or your website or whatever you want to do. Um, we, we did some short videos here. I'll just play a couple of them real quick. So Facebook has to be engaging. Video content is really helpful. But when they, when they would click on either of these, they would then be um, sent through a process where they would fill out a form. Now, we use something called type form. We were getting way too many leads on social media. Was, we were blowing up. And so we wanted to make it a little bit more difficult. So we use something called type form that we integrate with. And it just asks one little question at a time. And again, we're, we're asking some more qualified questions like, um, you know, what's your website? You know, do you have a marketing budget? Tell us a little bit more about you. And, um, you know, it, it takes, it's a little bit harder to go through this, which is what we want. We only wanted qualified leads. And then people would go directly into our mobile funnel that I've already shown you. It's a very similar funnel. Well, it's basically the same as if they had clicked from the website. Now, some of you might have heard of Facebook lead ads. If you haven't, no worries. I, I don't know how much time you guys spend on marketing. Um, it's really hard to get to, and it's a whole nother world. But a Facebook lead ad is Facebook determined that people would convert higher inside of the Facebook environment rather than clicking off to a landing page. Um, we did this, but our conversions, again, were way too high. 
So we, we, we went back to the traditional method, but things might be different for you. I don't know. So the reason these convert so much higher is because when you click on a Facebook lead ad and use a Facebook form, the form can autofill because Facebook knows who you are. If you've uh, been in a cave or on the moon for the last week, <laughs> you might have missed the story that Facebook knows everything about you, unfortunately. But when you're logged into Facebook, right, they know your first name and your email address. So the form auto populates, and that's why the conversions are so high. Okay. And it's a trusted page. Well, it was. Um, but, you know, it's not like somebody, you're signing up for something in Southeast Asia and you're going to get spammed all kinds of weird stuff from and viruses on your computer and whatnot. In, in this scenario, because we can integrate with Facebook, as soon as they fill out this form on Facebook, we say, thank you, Facebook, and we wave goodbye. And now we take that lead and we put them through our sales funnel and we're communicating with people one-on-one, -on -one, not have to continue to spend Facebook ads on that person. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. If you're interested in doing that again, we, we can set that up and, and talk to you about that. Not the Facebook ad itself, but we can connect your Facebook ad to a mobile marketing sales funnel. Um, from print, some of you might hand out business cards, promotional cards. Uh, you know, some you might have a live event where you hand somebody something. We talked about the QR code. You can put this in a magazine ad. Every page you design comes with a unique link. So print is... Um, it's still an option if that's the world that you're in and that you utilize. We have people that run uh, magazine ads and things like that. And then lastly, let's cover SMS itself. Here are um, you know, people from the financial world. They basically help people um, finance uh, homes. They do mortgages, stuff like that. And at their events, they might say, you know, text, you know, we'll, we'll just say join to 72,000. But when people come to these forms, they're sent to a second page, a qualifying page here. In fact, let me, um, I'll, I'll replay this because I think it might be applicable more to you guys. So on the second page, they're going to ask, do you already have a mortgage? Has it been refinanced? Are you a, an investor? They ask them all these questions. And remember, if people fill out this for, first form, great. If they don't fill out the second form, we know it. And what I mean by we is Mobit does. And we can send out a reminder that says, thank you so much. Can you please fill out the rest of the information before you schedule our consultation? And um, these forms can look like whatever you want. They can be drop down menus, check boxes, you know, put in how much money you have, whatever you want to do. And uh, Enable Me has been using us now for a while. And uh, they've told us they couldn't live without it. So um, that's all starting from a text to join. And again, that keyword can be anywhere, social media, billboard, uh, we've got we've got an alien hotel out near Vegas that that uses our keyword on a big billboard. So anywhere you want to put that. Now, who initially sets all this up? Some of you might seem a little overwhelmed. You're like, wow, this all looks great, but uh, I got a life to live. I've got kids and I got a business to run. So who's going to do this for me? Um, well, the first campaign will be built by us. Uh, that's mandatory. We're very different than other software companies. You can't just sign up for Mobit online. Um, you can pay for it, but you can't, you can't, uh, get going with your campaigns. We need to meet with you personally. I'm going to show you exactly what that looks like. Um, we have a five-star reputation. I've already kind of talked a little bit about, um, how we treat our customers and uh, some of the clients that we have, but let me, uh, let me escape the PowerPoint here real quick and go over to what our mobile strategy looks like. So when you come online with us, we have to know more about your business because we're going to help you. We want you to get the most from Mobit. And we want you to have that immediately. Scott's talked about this. Uh, Scott knows he can call our team anytime and uh, we can help them build out uh, automation campaigns. So it starts with a typical 45 minute to an hour consultation. This is where we learn about what you want to do. And we also give you some ideas on what to do. Some people are like, well, I don't, I've never done this before. We know that. That's why you're going to be working with a professional marketer one-on-one. -on -one. Once we review your website, talk about your business and what you're doing, then we hop off the phone. We do a Zoom meeting very much like this, and uh, we start building. So this is a done-for-you process, at least the first time. We want to integrate it with another system that you might have, uh, build out all, design all your landing pages. Guys, all the examples you've seen so far, our teams built those, okay? Our clients took it from there, and they built their own campaigns, and they duplicated what we've what we've built by clicking a button and they, they take it from there. But we want to make sure you get off on the right foot. So after about anywhere from three to eight hours, we're spending building your campaign. And then we notify you when the campaign is done and ready to review. 
So you'll get an automated email says, let's book in another time. And we spend another 45 minutes to an hour going over everything we've built. Okay. And we can make changes and show you how it works and so forth. Then we implement it and we go live and you start using it. And over the next couple of weeks, we just uh, check in, make sure that the campaign is working properly. It's what you wanted and uh, you're good to go. Now, from there, we've got lots of training videos. We have other professional services if you want to engage with us. But as you've seen, Mobit's pretty easy. Once you have a campaign to look at and it's in translation of your business, it'll make a lot more sense to you and you can build those campaigns yourself. Um, so let's get back to the PowerPoint here. All right. So what's the return on investment? What's this thing even cost? And, and um, you know, what can I see? What kind of results can I see? Um, let's look at Steve here. Uh, I met Steve at a conference in uh, San Francisco and uh, we were with a group that was going to dinner every night. And on the last night, Steve said, Hey Jim, uh, tell me a little bit about what Mobit actually does. And so I described it in a few minutes. He said, this is awesome. He said, listen, I'm going on stage tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Can you build me a campaign? <laughs> I had uh, got back from dinner. I'd already had a beer. I'd like to rest for the evening. But I said, you know what, Steve, I'll, I'll, I'll do it for you, man. Let's, let's do it. So we went up into this uh, studio suite that he had set up. He was going to be filming a TV show the next day um, after his speech. And we banged it out. We got everything all perfect the way he wanted and uh, built this campaign really quickly. He went on stage the next morning and he had 90% of the room opt into his campaign. Now, all he was doing was offering a, a PDF of his book. And he said they had 24 hours to download it. Now, there were only 158 people in the room and he wanted to try to see if he could get other engagements, other consultations out of it, speaking gigs. And I was like, really? I don't think this audience is going to do that. He's like, well, let's try. He got 10 requests. So Steve makes a lot of money to go speak somewhere, and he got 10 requests to do so, 90% opted in, and then that was it for now. But just four days later, we did something really cool. Steve went back to his home north of San Francisco. He lives on a large property up there near George Lucas, and um, he sent out a video. He says, you know, um, you should really design your life before you design your business. Design your business around your life. A lot of you are working too hard, and I can show you how to increase your business and have more time for your life. Steve's, uh, Steve basically ran himself into the ground, right? He ran ads for Apple and he had a successful business, but um, he wanted to make more money, but he didn't want to lose his family. So he does this course and he offered a, a significant discount. This went out and so many people signed up for this. He had a 10X return on his mobile investment just four days later. So this, this stuff does work. Um, Alan Berg, um, he wanted to sell a bunch of books. And he came out with a new book. The first time he used this, he made $3,000. And we did a really unique thing. When people would buy the book, there was a coupon. It, over the three-day period, if they hadn't bought the book, they would get reminders to drop by and get the $5 discount. So I won't go too much into those details. So let's wrap it up here. Um, if Mobit is four things in one, you know, what's a reasonable cost for a tool like this? If you think of SMS, there's lots of tools out there that can offer you the ability to send a text. Most of them are plain. Some of them are not compliant. They're not going to uh, work with you individually. So you can spend anywhere from, you know, a hundred to a couple hundred dollars getting a text messaging tool out there. If you want to build some landing pages, some of these tools might look familiar with you um, or to you. Landing pages like lead pages or click funnels or unbounce. Yeah, those are all great. You know, they start at a hundred bucks to a couple hundred bucks to build some pages, but that's all they do. Um, some of them might include email, but then again, that gets more costly. CRM, you know, here are some of the big ones. Uh, we, again, we're not here to uh, replace your CRM, but we do have a CRM where some of your data can be stored. We do have clients that just use Mobit. Just depends on how big you are and what you want to do. But CRMs, you know, yeah, boy, now you're really talking about a couple hundred bucks a month. I mean, some of these are $1,500 a month. And then down here, marketing automation. You know, Infusionsoft is, you know, anywhere from a hundred to a couple hundred bucks a month. Uh, some of these are as, uh, as little as 79 bucks a month. But if you want all four of these things, it, it adds up. And we provide all of these things in one tool. So Mobit is a, a really cool tool for um, people who want to do all of these things. So let me, um, let me just give you guys the opportunity. 
If you want to learn more, I'm going to describe a, a 40% discount that I'm giving to all the note camp attendees. Wow. And, and uh, it, it's uh, it's an awesome deal. And I'm going to describe it here in just a second. But um, before I do, I just want to give you the opportunity to text Jim to 72,000 and you can get on my calendar. I'm personally going to have a strategy call with you. We're going to talk a little bit more about where you are in the life of your business, what it is that you do. And I'm going to give you examples on ways that we can grow your business. So again, text Jim to 72,000 and uh, book a time in uh, with me. And then um, I want to go ahead and go ahead and give you guys the pricing just before I answer any other questions. So this is the promotion and it's pretty good. So we have a light pro and enterprise plan. Um, Our light plan starts as little as $147 a month. Our pro is 197 and then enterprise is 397. That's, that's the big boys. Those are the big clients. Um, Light comes with up to 2,000 contacts within the database. Pro is up to 25,000 contacts, so that's a little bit better. Pro is our most popular, and mostly because of this reason. The light only comes with one keyword. So let's say your, your name of your business is uh, Patrick Riley Investments, and you want somebody to text Patrick to 72,000 to book a consultation in with you. But you also want a different keyword on social media, you know, where you give away your five tips to success or something like that. Um, Having more keywords is really helpful. So pro gives you up to five different keywords that all can tie to different automated campaigns. Light is five campaigns. That's it. That's as many campaigns as you can have in your account. But pro, you can have unlimited. Now, that complete mobile strategy where we're spending several hours building your campaign, basically you're outsourcing your entire marketing to us, to have us work with you and build it and set it up the way you want. Our monthly customers pay full price for that. Um, Obviously, we don't make a lot of money for 147 bucks a month to pay for this awesome system. So, um, we know, we need to charge for our time. And many of you can respect that. Uh, But what we're doing here is if you invest in light and you commit to the year, we're not only going to drop the price to 127 a month, so that's 127 times 12. We're going to upgrade you to pro for free for life. Wow. So as long as you're in Mobit's um, annual program, next year you would just keep that 127. I will tell you guys, we have increased our pricing five times in four years. It, it, it's gone up and up and up. And that's because the system is so powerful and we've added so many features that the board's just like, you know, we're we're not pricing this thing accordingly. So but it, Jim, that's cheap. You're offering cheaper than what I paid for it a couple of years ago, though. That's that's what some of the people realize. Whoops. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Scott. No, um, hey, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining because I use it. But that's the thing. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a lot cheaper than what I pay, which is great. That's awesome. Okay. Awesome, man. That's great. Well, it is a limited time. So um, we're going to do this for people that book in and uh, meet with me and, uh, and want to move forward. Now, a couple things. So you get the pro account and then we're also going to discount the onboarding by $300. So now you've got the lowest price. You've got the best plan for the lowest price. And we're going to take $300 off to onboard you. And again, this is not a, you know, a setup fee. It's not just because it's work that's being done. It's a lot of professional hours we're spending on your business to, uh, to help you build a list. So, you know, with that, um, Scott, do you want to help me here? Uh, do we uh, want to take some questions or is there anything else I can help well, anybody well, I'd with? Like to, I think a, a great point is I want to give people some ideas on things that they can use this for in their note business. So what I, the f- couple things that I use it for immediately is I've got a couple different keywords and I use it when I'm out speaking. And so if either I'm at a, a conference or I'm at a RIA club meeting I'll use this when I'm speaking. If you'd like to get my slides, just text the word notes to 72,000 and then they get a link to my slides. They also get a link to videos, um, which would be a great thing for you guys too. Hey, if you'd like to learn more about what we do, you know, text, you know, text Brady to, you know, 72,000 to learn about my business, you know, or if you want to get on my investors list, you know, text the word invest to 72,000 or something like that. So you start building people into your database and then, you know, you, they send a link, they opt in. You could then send them back a questionnaire, you know, investor questionnaire or something like that to help out with it. We, I use it also, you know, especially when I'm out on different radio shows or different podcast guests. I even use it on my own podcast where I say, hey, if you'd like to get more information, you know, text this to, to your, and, and get it come in. Now, I know that some people have a little bit of an error. I, sometimes AT&T doesn't work too well. Um, 
you ever run into that gym where there's an error message or something like that from people where they're like there's no, not with AT and T. I know that back in the day, uh, when uh, we were all paying ten cents per text message, uh, there was a box you could check on your provider form, like at T Mobile, that said, "I don't want to receive messaging." I mean, I don't really see that anymore. Yeah. Um, we can only do what we do, guys. We're a software provider on top of the network, so you know, if you you know, but you know, that's that's going to be with any provider. But no, it, it's rare. It's yeah. a few and far between. Yes, yeah, so, so Brady Durst, I guess you're running into an issue. You've got T-Mobile. I have T-Mobile. Uh, I would check with that. You, if you say you're not enabled for that service, it's something that you've checked off not to receive messages of some sort. So That's correct. That's great. Yeah. So short code service. So that's 72,000 guys. That's the compliant number. That's a We had to go through the FCC to get that. That is a very expensive service. And it's the only proper way to do sales and marketing in this country. If you're trying to do sales and marketing via a long code, a long code being a long number, like 623-521-5840, you will be blocked by AT&T, T-Mobile, and so forth. And they won't even tell you. So long code is an old technology. It was built for storm warnings and Amber alerts for, you know, kidnappings. Um, you're not supposed to do any um, sales or marketing over long code. So if you're thinking, oh, well, I'll just get a Google voice and I'll try to text people out that way. Um, you can't track that way. Um, it's 60 times slower. You can be blocked and you could get in trouble. So we do things the professional way and the legal way. And that's uh, using the short code. But it, if you did check a box with your T-Mobile account, it's possible, um, Brady, that you uh, can't receive short codes. So you, there's nothing I can do about that. You just need to contact T-Mobile and say, hey, take that off. You know, it's probably left over from, from many years ago. Right. So Ruth asked a question, is at least one campaign always needed in order to leverage most of the features of the system? Um, well, I mean, sort of. I mean, you're going to want to at least have, you know, uh, you've got to build your list, right? So if you don't have a list, you've got to build your list. And usually we work with people on how to start building their list and communicating with people and converting them. Um, but yeah, you, you'll, you'll want at least one campaign. Now you can use the CRM. You can start putting contacts in there and growing it organically and slowly, but we typically want to build at least one automation campaign for you. But if you have questions on, again, just book in with me and, and uh, I'll walk through each step. And I'm going to give you lots of strategies and ideas specific for your business. I can't do that on a, on a one-way presentation like this. No, that's totally 100% accurate there, guys. That's what's so great about Jim and Liam and everybody over in that neck of the woods with Mobit is that they've spent time, hey, uh, you know, going through. When, when I met Jim originally back, I think it was at Icon back in the day, about five years ago in Phoenix, you guys, we spent probably an hour and a half on the phone, if I remember correctly, or at least right. close to it, talking about the different things that we do. And you guys have always been great to set up uh, different pages for us and, and taking the time. Leon has been phenomenal. Uh, and you know that already, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yep. Uh, John asked the question, with a single 72,000 short code, how does it differentiate, differentiate a consumer wanting to, to stop future emails from Sally, Marriott, but keep items from notes and others that are also set up with myself? Yeah, exactly. So uh, when they re when they text stop back, it's going to opt them out to the campaign that they're recently in. So if uh, you're in the, the gym campaign or, or, or you're in the notes campaign and you get a you get a message from uh, Scott and for whatever reason you want to opt out, don't do that. But if you did, you could text stop and it would opt you out of Scott's campaign and Scott's account. So when people opt in, they're opting in to your campaign and your company. We run obviously many, many businesses off the same short code and we figured that out. But basically um, when people text a word, they're opting into your campaign and your business. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, Clark asked a question. It looks like there's a funnel capability in autoresponder. Are there any limitations of the system and how does Mobit get around if, it, if people are on the do not call list? Well, let me answer that last part. Clark, you gotta realize people are texting into you. So when they text into you, that's, that's, it has nothing to do with it. That, that removes them from the do not call list. You can mark it back to them because they're texting to you. It's not the other way around. That's right. This is permission only. This is permission based only marketing. Uh, we're, there's no spamming. We don't endorse that and we don't encourage that and it's not allowed. So people are either filling out a form on a website and that triggers a text to them. I've got lots of examples I can show you. Um, but either way, they're opting in. This is not a list that you buy from somebody and then start blasting people. So um, the do not call list is... Um, like I'm on the do not call list, right? Uh, but I've, I've opted into many campaigns like JCPenney and all, you know, I opt in all of them. But, but basically, um, yeah, it's opt-in only. 
And so uh, now there was a person that said, are there any limitations to the system? Yeah. <laughs> of course, of course, there's limitations. Um, but let me, let me say this. Um, you can pretty much accomplish everything you want to do from a marketing automation standpoint with our platform. What was the other part of that question, uh, Scott? He said, can you? Uh, uh, basically, he, he basically, uh, let me pull it back up here. So he said, where is it here? Um, basically you can see there's an autoresponder and an opt-in. Oh yes. Autoresponder. Yeah. So there's cool things you can do in the system guys. Um, let me see if I actually can show you right now. Uh, well, I, I, I don't know if I have the campaign up right now, but basically you can trigger automated responses like a bot like experience if you want. So if somebody texts in and you say, how can I engage with you? Uh, press, uh, you know, respond one with this way, two for this way or three, you know, not at this time, based on the way they respond, you can have an auto response come back and say, great, I'll be giving you a call next week or click here to schedule a time with me or, or whatever you want. So you can do that in the text. A lot of times I refer to just send people over to a landing page where they can fill out a form and check a box or press a button there. So um, auto responders, absolutely. Piece of cake. Right. And that's a great thing too. You guys, you can go in to the people that opt in and say, Hey, uh, one thing that we do, like with our note night in America, you guys have opted in for one of our, our webinars every Monday night. And it, they've uh, Liam's done a really good job of in, in, um, getting that configured with zoom. Well, I can go in and send a text message out. Hey, 30 minutes before, Hey, don't forget, you know, to watch our, 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 our webinar, you know, and you can watch it directly from their smartphone. That's what you guys, I don't think realize a lot of times is that when we talk about like email services like MailChimp, which a lot of you guys are using, and then some of you guys are using Infusionsoft and stuff like that, that's great. Those are great services. But a lot of people, though, are spending time on their phones to do everything. Okay. And so the communication of going to their cell phones and having a pop up and text message, Jim is so right on what he talked about before, how it's much more of a higher open rate on your text messages, so much more higher rate and so much thing about communicating and having those one-on-one -on -one conversations versus sending an email out to 5,000 people that you get, hopefully you get a 10% a open rate. Whereas with the text messaging, you're getting such a higher rate and we see that. Um, I'll give you, when I spoke just recently at Quest IRA, I offered up, hey, get my slides. So there were 60 people in the room. I got 35 of those people to opt in. All right, that's huge to me because now it's 35 new potential funding partners. That's new, 35 new potential deals or investors for me to move deals to or wholesale to or sell deals to or, or reach out for funding in future things. So there's a whole lot of things. Oh, you got Joel Block with Bullseye Capital. Joel's a great guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So he, he uses it to, to, you know, events like a symposium that's coming up and, yep. and stuff like that, but also for people to book in guys. So like when you schedule a time with me, I get notified that somebody's uh, wanting to meet with me personally. Um, this, this through the calendar invite that I showed you. And then once the event is over, once I've met with them, I get a response back that says, Hey, so-and-so wanted to meet with you. Uh, did they attend or not attend? And based on the way I, so there's a lot of back end workflow that can help your business uh, function as well. So when people attend, it applies a tag to them. If they've missed, it puts them on a reminder sequence to reach out to me and uh, schedule some more time. So if they buy a product or sign up for a service, or maybe they're in a process where you want to send out uh, specific information that you need financial information from them, or I mean, we, we can automate workflow and backend stuff. And because the engagement is so high on mobile, this is where you want to do it. Mm -hmm. You're doing everything via email. Remember, that person you're trying to communicate with is getting on average between 125 and 225 emails a day from, from everybody, from Target, from Home Depot, from their Aunt Jenny. And if you really want to communicate and engage with people, you've got to do that through the mobile channel. Um, this is the, an example of the automation uh, response. You, know, you can just say, hey, please respond whichever way. You set up a response goal that says, if they respond one, then I want to send them this follow-up text. It, so that's the per his question, um, you know, you can set up that type of workflow. Sure. Question from Scott Van Campen. Can you use a, a one, can you only use a one word code or can it be more than a one word? Like if instead of being like Scott, could it be like Scott space van? Is that, I think um, it's you can use, um, 
you can use two words, but you have to push them together. That's not a limitation to us. That's just the way that all of them work. So Coke, Pepsi's, uh, every, everybody who does any type of mobile marketing with short code, it's one word. And I actually recommend only one word. I recommend it be short, easy to spell, won't autocorrect. And so it's more important that you have something work than have something like your brand. Okay. Yeah. So if you really want it to work and, you know, use the word go, you know, it's, two letters. Everybody knows how to spell it. It's short. So it, it, it doesn't really, doesn't really matter too much. Roy has a question. Can someone overlap campaigns by using the same short code? Is it like a URL? No. When somebody texts detail, they're going to get uh, RC auto salons, uh, you know, campaign for the top three tips to wash your car. Right. So um, if they're interested in the new Bitcoin energy drink, you know, they're going to text Bitcoin to 72,000. So one keyword per campaign. Now you can move that keyword and switch it to a different campaign after a while, right. but a computer is a computer. It's ones and zeros. So we have to know, you know, what you want to happen with one keyword. Remember in the promotion I'm offering, you get five keywords. So you can have different keywords for different dedicated campaigns and you can, you can purchase more if you want, and then you can release them, but they're like domains. If you yeah. got a big, if you got an event in Chicago or you're meeting with a group uh, at the West End, you can use West End, text West End to 72,000 and then release it later that month and not use it. But hopefully that answers your question. It does. Uh, Bill asked, does this place take, take the place of MailChimp or is it another service altogether? It's an all, another service altogether. Let me give you an example. You guys have built an email list or you have a database. Let's just say uh, 3,000 people. Okay. If you send an email out through MailChimp, you probably get somewhere between 10 to 15, maybe 20% of those people to respond to you, which is not bad. But if you've got their phone number, if you've got, if they've opted in to your database, and let's say you only got 1,000, uh, a third of your group uh, through their third of your database to, to actually opt into that. And you send a message out to them, you're going to have like 90% of those people. So you'd have 900 people respond to your phone, to their, to your text message through Mobit. That's a much higher hit rate. That's much more, especially when you've got deals that you need to put out, especially if you had, a, if you had 500 private investors and you maybe got 20 of them to open an email, but you could get 450 of them to look at your deal that you sent them after they opt in. That's a much more efficient way of communicating with things. So it's not meant to replace your email. I mean, you can use uh, there like, like Jim says, there's your CRM, but it works well with Mailchimp. It, you know, it's one of the things that link, they link up with, right, Jim? Yep, yep, yep. So if somebody fills out a form on our page, or somebody opts in from a Facebook ad, or you meet somebody, or you just have their information. Like you said, they're going through a deal, and you're working with John Stolt, and um, you know you need to communicate with him. Um, you know and he fills out a form or you put his information in our database, then we have it and you can communicate with him. Uh, if you want to send that over, we can automatically send that right into MailChimp and, and you can build your mail list. So you can use mobile marketing to build your email list. You can also use email to build your mobile list. But as Scott just mentioned, I went over these numbers before. I mean, look at how many people you'd have to email to actually get them to engage with you. Right. Uh, and by the way, these are standard numbers. This isn't just uh, you know somebody trying to sell f shoes. Again, our email boxes are inundated. So if you're marketing only here, you're missing, you're missing people. Exactly. Clark asks, is it possible to show a phone number that can be called immediately from the Mobit? Uh, well, what you do is you put it in the text, right? So okay. let's, let's go over here and uh, let me do this and say, um, you know, you, you, you can draft these. You, by the way, guys, you can add pictures and videos to these texts. It's really easy. But let's just uh, – I'll skip all this and just say um, – um, for more questions, right? Contact me at, by the way, this will hyperlink inside their, mm -hmm. their, their message. So you can put your phone number at the bottom. It could be like a signature. Remember when they're on the landing pages, this is kind of cool. When they click on the landing page button, it'll automatically, uh, launch your number. So if it says, call, uh, you know, call me today, on the landing page, they just click the button and it'll automatically pull up your number on their phone and then they can call. So you do that. But remember, the texts are coming from 72,000. Um, you can, resp uh, this is a brand new account, so we're not going to see, but there's a message inbox where you can respond to people if you want to. Um, if you want to do a ton of one-to-one, -one, you can do that. Uh, most people are trying to automate their business and try to keep that to a minimum, uh, but you can do that. Yeah. Guys, I highly encourage you to text Jim to 72,000, set up the, the conversation with them, see how it's going to fit in with what you've got. Yes, this will match up with most CRMs for you out there. 
It's and the price that he's offering up this is huge, huge discount. Um, it's a huge opportunity. Trust me, uh, it's it's very effective. It will help you with your business, whether it's a finding more investors and communicating with more investors or more or, or people to fund your deals or to buy your deals or go on that route. All right. So I don't want to take too much time because we're literally just about a couple minutes away from Adam's time slot. So yes, Roy, they do create a landing. They'll help you out with a landing page and mob it there for you straight on your cell phone as well. It's exactly like Jim said before, and they'll help you out with your landing page there on mob. It's so easy to use. So well worth the time. Highly recommend it guys. Use this service. It will revolutionize your business if you use it. Okay. So Jim, I want to say thank you again for jumping up early with us this morning. I know you're on the, on the West Coast there. Um, thank you so much for taking time. Thank you for offering such a special offer for those people at Note Camp as well, man. Hey, no problem, guys. I really appreciate the time that I've had with you and uh, hope you have a great rest of the camp and a great weekend. And if you need anything, again, just call me at the, the number below or text Jim to 72000. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jim. All right, guys, we're going to take a short two-minute break here. Uh, so that you guys can, I can get everything reset here and we'll bring Adam Adams on here in just a moment, guys. Great. Recording. <laughs> 